Last drill that we're going to take and we're going to do here, snapshot drill exactly like we just worked on, except we're adding a variable to it. If you get up here real close, and you guys take a, uh, you guys take a peek down range, you can actually, you can see at that point right there that there's a badge, and there's no badge on the, uh, on the target that we have over on the right, there's actually an American flag patch that's on the, uh, the sleeve. And if we go dark, go ahead and go dark, you guys can see you can't even, can't even detect it, right? So when you're working together as a pair, what's going to happen is you're going to split the door as a solo. One guy's going to be back across the other side. He's basically going to set up here in a high port like this. His partner's going to go down range, and he can move those targets. He can move either target to either side if he wants to. It's kind of like we're doing a little three-card Monty, a little bit of a shell game. So now this is giving you a narrow doorway. You've got to get across in time. And you can see even at a range here of about four meters or so, without that little bit of light on, you can just barely make out that badge that's right there. So this is going to force you guys to have to use that flashlight to come up and actually threat assess and see if you guys have a threat or not. Shoot or no shoot. Does that make sense? So the majority of training that we do on the range is what? There's the threat, there's the threat, there's the threat, there's the threat. You've got to take and mix it up. You have to put decisional shooting in it or it's a no. You have to force guys to assess whether somebody's a valid threat or not. Always remember that. So briefly, guys, showing you what this drill looks like. First time I'll demo it here, I obviously know that the threat in this case is off on that right-hand side. So I'm coming across. I'm here. And assess. I assess that it was the threat that was on the right.